Lithium battery goodbye. Toyota's new solid state battery will destroy the EV competition. Take notes. Reduced risk of overheating in fires. Longer lasting and more powerful energy storage. Reduced charging times. Suitable for extreme weather. Lightweight design and fewer maintenance requirements. You get all these advantages in an EV because this will be powered by a brand new technology. A solid state battery. Moreover, it's not Tesla that makes the promise. It's Toyota. So no fear of breaking the promise this time. Toyota is set to introduce its high energy iron phosphate or LFP battery option, potentially as early as late 2026 or maybe 2027. This move aims to slash costs by up to 40% and extend the driving range by 20%. While the ultimate range is capped at 373 miles, the real marvel lies in the improved charging speed, a 10% to 80% charge in just 30 minutes. Now, some might say that Toyota's plants aren't the groundbreaking leap they initially appeared to be. After all, certain LFP batteries in the market already offer rapid charging. Goshen High Tech and CATL are pushing the boundaries with LFP batteries, boasting an impressive energy density of about 200 watts per kilogram. So Toyota isn't exactly reinventing the wheel here, but they do have access to some advanced options. However, what really raises eyebrows is the timeline for implementing LFP batteries outside of China, potentially by 2027. Could Toyota be gearing up to produce their own LFP cells? It's a question that lingers in the air. Toyota has been slow to adopt EV technology, with former CEO Akio Toyota's reluctance driven by his famous quote, carbon is the enemy, not the internal combustion engine. His focus was on emissions reducing technologies like hydrogen combustion engines and hybrids. But now, under the leadership of CEO Koji Sato, Toyota is hitting the gas pedal on electrification. The breakthrough in solid-state battery tech is their ticket to becoming an electrification frontier. One notable feature is Toyota's commitment to slimming down its batteries. The current BZ4X model's battery measures 150 millimeters, or 5.9 inches, which is on the wider side. To put it in perspective, BYD's blade battery is just a quarter of that thickness. Toyota's plan is to reduce the battery thickness to 120 millimeters, or 4.7 inches for regular vehicles, and an even smaller 100 millimeters, or 3.9 inches for sports cars. This move is all about making more room for innovation. In the race for the holy grail of battery technology, the solid state battery, automakers are sprinting toward the finish line, and Toyota isn't lagging behind anymore. One persistent concern for EV enthusiasts has been range anxiety. Even with impressive strides in EV tech, the Lucid Motors Air Grand Touring can muster up a commendable 516 mile range, albeit with a hefty starting price of $139,000. But now Toyota, the pioneer of the Prius in the 1990s, is shaking things up with a 750 mile range using solid state batteries. To truly appreciate the significance of this development, you need to understand the difference between solid state batteries and the lithium ion batteries most EVs rely on. These distinctions matter because batteries are the priciest part of an EV and have a significant impact on weight. Extending an EV's range typically means larger batteries or more efficient electric motors, and automakers are walking the tightrope between efficiency range and the challenge of batteries gobbling up more space than traditional fuel tanks. The limitations of today's lithium-ion batteries can be traced back to the liquid electrolyte core. Despite continuous strides in energy density, Lithium-ion batteries still fall short of the ambitious goals set by the automotive industry. The liquid electrolyte in these batteries also poses safety risks, as evident in incidents like the Tesla fires. While EVs are generally less prone to fires due to their lack of internal combustion processes, there's a clear need for enhanced battery safety, especially in cases of accidents or battery punctures. Enter solid-state batteries, the superheroes of battery tech. They eliminate the liquid electrolytes drastically reducing the risk of fires in EVs. In fact, with only a 25 in 100,000 car fire probability, EVs equipped with solid-state batteries outperform conventional gas vehicles, which is the second most fire-prone, and hybrids, which is the most fire susceptible. This enhanced safety, combined with the potential for increased energy density and space efficiency, makes solid-state batteries a compelling choice for forward-thinking automakers. The quest for solid-state batteries represents a united front in the automotive industry to tackle safety concerns, boost energy storage capabilities, and speed up EV adoption. But of course, challenges abound. High manufacturing costs, the hunt for effective solid electrolyte materials at room temperature and ensuring durability over charge cycles remain ongoing issues. A valid question arises. Could Toyota utilize its resources more effectively by teaming up with established battery companies instead of venturing into the enigmatic realm of battery development?
One often overlooked challenge in solid-state battery technology is recycling, which results in fewer reclaimed parts and environmental concerns due to the importance of recycling and reducing the environmental impact of battery production and disposal. Another less discussed issue is dendrite formation, which can decrease battery lifespan and efficiency. While this problem also occurs in lithium-ion batteries, recent developments from Honda may offer a solution for solid-state batteries, potentially improving their longevity and performance. However, as the technology evolves, there are still challenges to be addressed. The substantial potential of solid-state batteries with their enhanced safety, greater energy density and reduced space requirements far outweigh these initial drawbacks. As research and development efforts persist, it's likely that the cons associated with solid-state batteries will gradually be overcome, solidifying their status as a groundbreaking advancement in battery technology with immense benefits for various industries, particularly in the automotive sector. Toyota claims to have made significant strides in surmounting these challenges, actively researching and developing solutions to enhance the technology. As Thomas Ingolath, CEO of Polestar once said, the battery that we have in there will be a crucial part of the energy solution for the future because you need it as a buffer. Toyota's chief technology officer, Hiroki Nakajima, recently made a groundbreaking revelation. They've cracked the code on a game-changing material, a crucial advancement in the development of solid-state batteries. The specifics of this material are shrouded in secrecy for now, but what we do know is that Toyota is gearing up to introduce these revolutionary batteries as early as 2027. Toyota isn't just casually dipping its toes into this arena, they're diving in head first. Their extensive patent formula comprising over 1,000 patents clearly signals their unwavering dedication to solid-state battery technology. Their plan is nothing short of ambitious. They intend to roll out these high-performance batteries in hybrid vehicles a few years before unleashing fully electric ones. But it doesn't stop there. Toyota's sights are set on a bolder vision. By 2027, they aim to slash the manufacturing costs of electric vehicles by a whopping 20% and achieve a range that stretches over 1,000 kilometers while maintaining rapid charging capabilities. If they can pull it off, it has the potential to reshape the electric vehicle landscape as we know it. Of course, there are skeptics and naysayers questioning the veracity of Toyota's claims. Some argue that their announcements lack the nitty-gritty details and resemble more of an internal pitch than a public revelation. Additionally, Toyota's aspiration for a 10-minute 80% charge, although impressive, faces competition from other automakers pursuing similar fast charging goals. The mention of second-generation solid-state batteries with a 1,200-kilometer range sparks queries about the necessity of such extensive ranges. It's worth noting that EVs represent just a fraction of Toyota's overall production, with a strong emphasis on thin battery packs to enhance passenger comfort and efficiency. While their focus on volumetric energy density aligns with industry trends, doubts linger regarding the feasibility of their ambitious claims. Toyota boldly states that when these solid-state batteries hit the market around 2027 or 2028, their EVs will boast an astonishing range of 745 miles, easily outpacing the current record holder, the Lucid Air, which offers 520 miles. Furthermore, Toyota plans to reduce charging time to a mere 10 minutes for a full charge, a game-changing improvement in convenience. Curiously, amidst the excitement, Toyota has managed to keep a tight lid on further information about this venture. Despite persistent probing from eager journalists looking for a glimpse of a pre-production prototype, Toyota had teased the possibility of such a prototype back in 2015, but it remains elusive, leaving us with questions and a sense of anticipation for more developments in this mysterious facet of Toyota's endeavors. Nevertheless, in line with Toyota's customary approach to achieving carbon neutrality, they're not putting all their eggs in the solid-state battery basket. Toyota recognizes that there's still considerable potential for improvements in traditional liquid-based lithium-ion batteries. We don't actually view solid-state batteries as the ultimate solution, said Toyota's chief technology officer, Hiroki Nakajima. If Toyota can stick to its internal timeline and achieve mass production of these batteries by 2027, it could mark a monumental turning point for the entire automotive industry, giving Toyota a distinct edge in the world of electric vehicle development. Toyota has set ambitious goals, with plans to escalate annual EV sales from 20,000 units in 2022 to a staggering 1.5 million by 2026, doubling that number by 2030. This is part of their grand vision to establish a dominant presence in the EV market. Their solid-state battery technology has the potential to position them as a leading force in EV manufacturing, potentially revolutionizing the auto industry by enhancing safety, range, durability, and convenience. Toyota's unwavering commitment may indeed reshape the way we drive and power vehicles in the not-so-distant future. Are you as excited as we are about the future of electric vehicles? What do you think this innovation means for the EV market? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more electrifying updates.
Thanks for watching.